Alright guys and gals, you have less than 24 hours to finish this week's Insurgency missions in Far Cry 6 and get some really sweet timed rewards that will be gone very soon. So if you're doing these the very last minute, there are some really cool tips in this video that will show you how to complete these way faster and also a couple more that will teach you how to get even more extra moneda on top so that you can afford those really sweet overclocked weapons from Lola. But Insurgency mode for those unaware and also a quick recap, it's based basically Far Cry 6 Endgame and also the one that Ubisoft is planning to support from now on with weekly updates, new items and cool new events among many other things. Basically once you finish the main campaign some of the previously conquered enemy bases will go on a weekly rotation where you have to reconquer them back and this will count towards a weekly objective that gives you a ton of moneda, it gives you a ton of XP, some cool exclusive rewards including weapons, chibis and you know all that kind of cool stuff. So let's focus on the spec ops missions and how to finish these as fast as possible because during them you have to steal this pg 240x explosive that keeps overheating over time especially if you're out in the sun or if there's sources of fire near you or even more so you might instantly fail if somebody shoots a rocket at you so you have to like pay constant attention to that it's easier in multiplayer but this can be done in single player as well but for single player there's a couple of tricks to make it even easier and probably the best trick right here I can show you is the fact that the parkour set is an absolute must if you want to finish this as soon as possible specifically you're going to want the legs the feet and the bracers because these will all give you all types of bonuses to running speed so definitely make sure you have these at least three pieces over here and constantly slide so that you can keep that buff up from the pants as that's gonna make it super easy for you to just run very fast from one point to another also stay close to the main road so that you can go back to the starting area just make a mental note of it but even Eventually, you should know exactly where everything is in and you can even use some of these maps to guide you because your regular map will be disabled during these missions and yeah just use sources of water in case the PG240X overheats which should not be a problem because you'd be sticking to the main road anyway and that would bring you to these points anyway and once you're done with that you get that extra moneda you get a really cool jacket on top from at least this mission and it also counts towards that yeah weekly event the other ones are a lot more straightforward you just have to take back another control point one of these anti-aircraft systems and a final fnd base in the l este region to open up the fifth objective the high value target which is going to be located right here on this side of the map this is also straightforward though the military base can be a little bit filled with enemies so just take everybody down these are regular enemies and once you're done with that you should also see the captain also take him down and from this point on you just have to like yeah hack a computer and finish the fnd objective and once you're done with that you're pretty much done with the insurgency mode for the week which will give you the next final rewards you're gonna get the vaquero del espacio which is a pretty awesome rifle that i believe you can only get right now so you might not be able to get it once this objective finishes because the next week one is gonna be different than this strangely enough the rifle behaves a lot more like a shotgun rather than a rifle but it's a cool addition to your collection though the weapons that are probably gonna be way better than this are the overclocked ones that Lola sells in exchange for Monera that you get from um, just completing the weekly insurgency getting the extra Monera on top and also a few other things that we will talk about in just a little bit specifically you're gonna be able to buy the mp5 smg the 1887 shot gun and this really cool sniper rifle right here and just to show you a comparison how good these are on top of the fact that they come with the overclocked perk that gives them extra damage if you unlock it they are also like way better than existing weapons that might be similar to them like for example mp5 is way better than the non-unique mp7 in terms of most of the stats even though the mp7 is also a four star but yeah the mp5 is just overall way way better so this brings me 
me to the next point and that's gonna be getting extra moneda as i've said if you finish the weekly insurgency mission you also get this spec ops key right here that you can then use for some special fnd caches that you can only find on the spec ops missions so this includes mesozoico or the second one right here at lola so i'm gonna actually show you a way to acquire from both of these missions starting with the mesozoico and in this area park you're gonna want to go ahead into the north eastern part of the map straight up from the spawn point just go to this location right here stick into the main road right to this location on the map so once you're there just go past this like bigger dinosaur right next to this blue house right here and there's two possibilities when you reach this location and the first possibility that that drop fnd cache is gonna spawn right behind the house next to this kind of like um, container or a trash bin in the back if it doesn't spawn go back into the front of the house and you're going to see a note on the ground that will point you in a different direction for that dead drop you can open with the spec ops key in this case it would be right here in the middle point in between where you are right now and the final objective for the entire mission so it's going to be located in the second part right next to the main road and you're going to find it right next to this kind of like pink house onto the outskirts and the you're going to notice that there's a bunch of boxes covering the dead drop just destroy these boxes however you want and then open it up and congratulations you got some 100 extra moneda on top and you can quickly abandon the mission right away and still get those 100 moneda on top you can go ahead and spend on something else but there's a second method to acquire 400 instead of just 100 and you do that from the second map at lola in the maseo mission so this one is a little bit more straightforward you don't need the spec up ski you can do this pretty much every single day every single hour and you can get a different key for a different cash so what you'll want to do here is to just head over on the main road towards the main objective right here on the western side of the map where you will see that red star once you reach this point you're going to notice a bunch of barracks on the right side and you're going to want to enter inside of them by the way huge shout out to indie game guys because he was the first one that i've noticed to post about this but essentially towards the end of these bunk beds you're going to notice that there's a secret key you can go ahead and grab right away now from this point unfortunately you will have to go ahead and follow the main like objective which is to steal the PG240X but don't head over to the exit yet instead head over to the north side in the middle right here of the map where you will see this kind of like water tower going on and the stash that you will use the key you just got on is going to be located right in the barn beneath it right here on to the left side you're going to notice this chest you can open up and this one gives you 400 moneda you can also encounter some enemies so definitely pay attention to that but there's plenty of water on top of the building to use it to cool off your pg 2040x and once you're done with that head over to the main objective you can even finish it from this point i mean might as well just do it and get even more on top because if you complete the maseo region you also get the second yeah really awesome kind of like helmet right here for the decontamination set which i i think looks really awesome this is it for now though thank you so much for watching let me know down in the comments if you already finished the insurgency mode for this week or if you even reached that point point. and as always a thumbs up on the video a like and a subscribe would be super appreciated i'll see you guys in the next video